So welcome everyone to this brief recorded session. Uh, what we're doing is Trudy is a pro advisor and she has never activated enhanced payroll for accountants, you know, in a QuickBooks file in this 2011 version ever before. So what we're going to cover today briefly is how do you activate that first file because once it's activated, one of the benefits of having enhanced payroll for accountants is that you can restore a client that has no payroll and just add it to your Enhanced Payroll for Accountants subscription online. But you can't do that the very first time because the very first time you just got to choose one of your client's files and enter the service key you get from the consultant when you purchase Enhanced Payroll for Accountants, whether you, you know, rolled it into your ProAdvisor membership as Trudy had done or you purchased it on its own. So if Trudy, you'd go to the Employees menu, and you'll notice there's three options. Click the payroll option. And then, of course, here, and we'll hang here for a sec just to discuss this, there's three options uh, in which Trudy is eventually going to click enter payroll service key. But you'll notice once we do activate her enhanced payroll for accountants, she'll actually have four options under here when she restores a, a client that has no payroll, allowing her to do it online. But again, the first one, you've got to enter the service key. So Trudy, go ahead and click on enter payroll service key. And then you click the Add tab in the lower left. And go ahead and put in that service key I just gave you from your order. And click Next. And then Yes. And then Finish. What we're doing right now is we're adding a subscription to the file, but we're also adding it to the machine, to the computer, and to this year of QuickBooks, count in 2011, so that when she were to restore another file that has no payroll, she can just do it online by going to the same thing, employees payroll, but she'll see a fourth option there, which we'll show you once the update concludes, where you can use your existing subscription or existing service. But in order for it to become existing, you've know, you got to activate it that first time. So the very first time you will need to enter the service key you get from your uh, sales consultant or rep uh, you can even call payroll support for this. Or typically, when you're ordering enhanced payroll for accountants, hopefully the consultant will give you the service key for just one EIN that you have to work with. So it's validating the subscription. It's downloading the tax tables, etc., so that the tax calculations can work and the forms. So let's let this run. And it's still thinking. And we should see, if you guys look in that QuickBooks service key window, eventually under service name, it should say, you know, enhanced payroll for accountants, and then status will be active. Click, click OK there. And then OK again. And you guys will see these same pop-ups too. And typically, it will open up a browser window just giving you, you know, information on the latest tax uh, update, but you can go ahead and X out of that if you like, Trudy. And then close that window. And all these things you guys will see, by the way. And then now notice right there in the service key window, Trudy has enhanced payroll for accountants and it's active. So let's go ahead and click OK here. And we'll go back to the employees menu because for those of you that have processed payroll before in QuickBooks, you know, she's got a lot of options there. Okay, and to go ahead and process payroll. Now, Trudy, if you were to go to uh, the file menu, and then close company and click no here and then no yep and we'll go ahead and just open up a sample file that has not been activated so if, or go and yeah open up another file you have in your list there file that probably hasn't been activated for payroll just so we can show them that fourth option So now that we've activated Enhanced Payroll for Accountants in one file in Trudy's QuickBooks account in 2011 and on this computer that she's going to use to process payroll with, notice we've just restored another file, uh, one of her other clients that has no payroll. And if we go to the Employees menu there, Trudy, and Payroll, we'll all see that she actually has four options now where she can actually use my existing payroll service and add it online without having to call in. So Trudy's going to go ahead and click on use my existing payroll service so that you guys can see it online. And she clicks add file and it'll add it to her you know, 
Intuit payroll agreement or enhanced payroll for accountant subscription. And you just kind of bullet point that first bullet there. It says add to subscription number. And then click next. And click next again. So it picks up the EIN that's in the company company information window. And then Trudy will click perfect. Click next again. And it doesn't take too long, actually, to add it online. So no one should need to be calling in to get that, a service key once they've activated that first time. So you do need to, to get that service key, hopefully, at the point of purchase, right, uh, and then activate it in just one file. And it, while this is, a, is going through its paces, it's uh, worthwhile to mention a lot of firms, the best practice is that they'll have a dummy file for payroll, and they'll just activate just one file that it's not actually a client file at all, and what they do is each year they get the new version of QuickBooks, they continue to upgrade that file, and it just goes through its, its process of activating enhanced payroll for accountants in the new version on the computer you're processing payroll on. So then Trudy will click Return to QuickBooks. Good old Larry's Landscape and Company file, validating the subscription, and it'll, similar pop-ups as to when she entered that service key for the other file. And now when she clicks OK, and finally goes back to the Employees menu, you'll have all your payroll options. So that's how easy it is to add it online. But again, hopefully this was helpful in uh, you know, determining how easy it is. Once you get the service key from your consultant, just go ahead and add it that first time. And then you never need to call in again just to activate you know, enhanced payroll for accountants for if you're restoring a client file.